Good evening. Do you remember the beast from the east? Oh, that was the long cold spell that we had in February 2018. It carried freezing winds across the continent and to us here in the UK, with temperatures dropping as low as minus 30 degrees centigrade in some places. Well, it caused havoc in this country, with dozens of roads closed, trains and flights cancelled, hundreds of schools suspended classes, and many businesses advised workers to stay at home. Of course, many of the trades that I worked on were affected as well. But there was particularly serious damage caused to one of our Class 91 locomotives. Without getting too technical, our locomotive number 91119 was so badly damaged that it spent six months sitting in Bounds Green Maintenance Depot while a decision was made about its future. During that time, it was cannibalised with parts being robbed from it to repair other locomotives. As this class of locomotive was reaching the end of its life, it was fully expected that she'd be scrapped. However, to everyone's surprise, she was given a stay of execution. It was decided that she'd be used as a project for the apprentices at the depot to rebuild her. In addition, she was to be repainted in her original British Rail Intercity Swallow livery and given the name of Bounds Green, with the name proudly displayed on nameplates on either side of the loco. She was brought back into service a year or so ago, looking superb, and I've had the pleasure of driving her on several occasions since then, the last of which was on Friday of last week. Well, a few days ago I was browsing through Facebook, and I saw in my news feed that someone had posted a video of this locomotive at Peterborough. It has been posted by a young rail enthusiast, whom I didn't know, but appeared to be acquainted with one of my Facebook friends. It showed the train leaving Peterborough, giving a short blast on its horn. The writer said that he was really grateful to the driver of his favourite locomotive for sounding the horn as it made his day. That's when it occurred to me, by looking at the dates, that the driver of that train was in fact me. I was on route to York, and I was responding to the usual request for a horn blast by a photographer pulling down on an imaginary rope. The young man was so delighted by this that he not only waxed lyrical on Facebook, but he even sent me a friend request, which I accepted. Now I'm sure to many people this must sound like quite a trivial event, but to this young man it really did make his day. And I know that when I was a child I, it would have made my day also. I was mad keen on trains and I saw the people who drove them and worked on them as, as superstars. So I know exactly how this young man felt. And it's something that happens quite regularly when I'm driving trains. Very often I'll see children waving at me either from a bridge or over the fence at the side of the railway. I always wave back because I know how it makes them feel. And it's something that we, we can all do whether we're driving trains or not. One of the big differences I noticed down here after moving from Leeds all those years ago is that people down here tend not to communicate with strangers. This is particularly so in London. When I first started working at King's Cross, I'd say good morning to station staff and they would look at me as though I was mad. Well, after 20, 20 years or so of working down there, they've kind of got used to me now and some of them even say good morning back. And I'm sure they all feel better for it. When someone says hello to you or even smiles at you, it gives you a little glow inside. It's a form of healing and something that we can all do every day. Just saying hello, smiling, or maybe even just a nod can make people feel better if they're feeling down for any reason. Yes, we're all healers in a way. We can all give people a lift just by doing the little things. Whether it's sounding a horn on a train, smiling, or just saying hello. Little things can make a big difference to someone's day. To quote the late great Ken Dodd, some women laugh at little things. It's a shame really, but never mind. Thanks for listening.